So pitch pine is not the only uh, conifer that we're looking at, right? No. So we're looking at two conifers and a whole host of other plants that really, uh, to the eye of a plant detective, tell a story about this place. One of the things that's very interesting is that the, the typical uh, shrub layer of the pine barrens, not the trees, but the shrub layer uh, of the pine barrens is very different here than what you would normally expect. For example, there's catbriar or greenbriar in some abundance here, which is unusual because this is a fire area and that particular plant perishes in fire. So why is it here? And where is the scrub oak? I don't see any of the second That's really... That's the second major... Uh, second major plant, uh, which is Quercus elicifolia. That particular plant is an oak. It's missing. Why? And you start to see other things as well. And you say, hmm, there's blueberries here. And over by the marsh, there's marsh elder. I've never seen marsh elder intergrowing with blueberries before, but there you see it here. But what the land use history here uh, is, is that this was an area that was settled early and they used it for grazing. So they had sheep and cattle in here and they liked to eat oaks. And over time, they ate all of the acorns. And then the fire came through and there were no acorns left. And so the sheep um, in particular are responsible for the absence of the scrub oak um, and the birds are responsible for the presence of dropping seeds here as they fly through these woods to constantly uh, bring in uh, the, uh, the catbriar or the greenbriar. So the greenbriar would never have had a foothold here if it wasn't for the fact that the oaks are gone, that the scrub oak is, is missing and that's a result of the historic use of this as a pasture. And it was Everything. a nice place for a pasture because the natural boundary, the animals would, would get their feet wet and back off. So they didn't have to build a fence here. This was this row of cedars, uh, Kathleen, is, is really an invisible boundary. And so the animals stayed on this side of that uh, tree boundary.